Hey everyone, welcome to the special spooky Halloween special for. Uh, did I say special twice? Uh, Stardust Gadget. Here is Tyler what? the R2 dude. What the? Is it spooky special? Or did you say special spooky special? I said special spooky 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 spe special special spooky. It's a the spooky special special speckle spooky spooky special spectacular. The soup, the spooky, Ooh. the super spooky Sonic Search and Smash Squad. There's a big ghost, and he's throwing his cum. Oh my God! Why'd you have to make it sexual? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what it looked like for a second. So I, I swear, what you're supposed to do is like you 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 dig where the shadow is to poke him out of it, and then you can damage him. But I yeah, isn't it? I think I fucked this up. Or I fucked it up. I completely fucked this up. But if you do it the first time, if you don't, if I had been like doing a second playthrough of this and like I recorded that, I would have, I would have moved to where he was. He would have stopped in his tracks or whatever and I would have dug and I would have knocked him out and I would have been able to hit him and I would be able to run really fast and hit him a second time right before the timer runs out if I had practiced before this playthrough. I swear it's possible to attack him twice and knock his health down to half. I'm sure it is. Uh, did you say you've done it before or did you just believe me? No, I just believe you. I've I done it before. I just... I, I couldn't do it today because I fucked up. I was really nervous to do it right, and I fucked up. Not that I'm blaming hey, anyone fine. other I mean, than myself. Beat it. Yeah, I, I don't actually lose a life to this guy or anything. I just fucked up. So, should we talk about, like, what it means that ghosts I was going to, but weird. I had to explain that thing. Yeah, uh, let's talk about it. Why the fuck are there ghosts in Sonic? Because I'm starting to lose my shit here. I'm starting to lose my grasp on reality here. It's, it's really done numbers on me. Yeah, um, there's, I, I just... It's so weird. I have so many questions. It's been this way since are these, time. like... Are they, like, human ghosts, are or are these, actually, like, the spirits of dead yeah. Mobians? Because there's clearly... He, the, the dead animals? Uh, Eggman put up the statues and shit, or at least modified them, but, like, in sent off his own, there's depictions of people and shit. So, like, it's, it implies that the ruins on Sinopolis zone are, like, built by humans, but... It's so weird. That does not look like a human, you know? I mean, I mean, it looks like something that came from a human, but I mean, it doesn't look like a human. Uh, I just, what is it? Yeah, I, I think it's supposed to be a, like, it's a really? bedsheet ghost. I mean, it looks like something on my <laughs> It's got a big mouth, but I, I don't think they thought that. I think yeah. they pulled a Toriyama. They were just like, oh, this would be cool. Knuckles fights a ghost. And he, like beats the shit out of it. I, I think they were literally just trying to like copy Mario at this point. Well, yeah, they probably copied King Boo, I mean, but I mean, like, they didn't think that hard about the existence yeah. of ghosts, is what I'm trying to say. No, no, not at all. Definitely not. They were just like, oh, uh, let's casually add religion to the Sonic mythos. That's <laughs> oh, <Marley> and shit. <laughs> here's the deities. Okay, this is never gonna be explained, but here's the deities. Here's the. The devil, uh, he's yeah. like trapped um, in the shadow realm and shit, and he punishes people who are like they—they they didn't do that. We're just thinking, oh, let's have Knuckles fight uh, King Boo from Mario, but let's not call him King Boo because we'll add an M, King Boom. No, his name is King Boom Boo. Oh, Boom Boo. Wait, whatever. I don't know. I don't care. I just usually call him that big annoying ghost boss. It keeps going. I find it weird that he just that there's this big pillar here, and then in the next cutscene, Sonic like is not there or whatever. Like, I don't know what. It doesn't matter, but Nook was knocked it down. It's like kissing Opalis or some shit. Have you ever looked at those series, not those series, but like people speculating like when Knuckles would have been like in Sinopolis relative to when Sonic and Tails were in Sinopolis? Did Knuckles just kill a ghost? Uh, what button do you have to press in the Dreamcast version to get Big to show up there? Or, or does he just show up automatically? I... We did it. I, if I remember correctly, you pretty much just, like, mash the A button during cutscenes, basically. And Big will 
sometimes show up in the background of parts. So weird. Uh. Uh. Fuck. You know, if Sonic had a gun, this would be over pretty quickly. Tails has a gun, but he's too much of a little, you know. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, dude. Just come shoot, on, that, Tails. shoot Eggman in the head. Big gun in the head. It's pretty much exposed. Instead, no, now you gotta fight a rock robot. Uh. Dr. Mug and I will probably talk about it, but I like how this cutscene is over and this fight is over in one second in the dark side story and then Eggman has to fight him. <laughs> yeah. Forgot about that. You forgot about it. Um, yeah, Eggman, uh, for some reason Eggman, like, has platforms at the bottom because he can't jump, like, as well as Sonic, so they thought, you know, let's give him some platforms for him to land on just in case the player falls down there, but, like, at the same time, they made it so the quicksand is an insta kill for Eggman. I'm actually, I, I actually don't know why they changed it that way. Why why Eggman can't just jump out of it? But like right here, I'm just I'm just mashing the A button to get out and shit. But like if that was Eggman, I would have had to have hovered yeah. over to a platform that's not there in this version, and I would have had anyway. I'm, I mean, that's how I get out of quicksand as I mash the A button. <laughs> but like in real life. Yeah, in real life. So I missed one of those pillars, but that's okay, because it, it only matters if I'm so disappointed in you from missing. Yeah, so Sonic can, like... This is the part where I haven't played the game in a while, and I completely forgot the strategy for this part. I didn't know if I was supposed to, like, just... Die? No, I, I, I didn't know... You're supposed to, like, look, go to lower platforms that have already, like... Yeah, and wait it out. Yeah. I, I did not know that. I, 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 I'd forgotten that after years of not playing this game. This is a very common uh, type of boss that they like to do for the adventure games. Yeah, just someone standing. And even like uh, Rush. Yeah, they they do some. They they have someone just standing in the background. And you run around. Yeah, them like and shit. basically you go around. Like you run on pretty much a two D plane, more more or less. You know, I mean here obviously it's still technically three D, but. I've never yeah, made that it, connection with Rush it's before, a very but yeah. Basic. So for a long like, time, like, like even like the bio. What? I was gonna say like, I don't know why they said this, but someone once claimed on the net. Let's play. It was like really old. Someone claimed that like, you never see Eggman com piloting his uh, mech anymore at the time. I guess that was right after Secret Rings and after like, and that was before the egg, the Egg Hornet or whatever was revealed and. What's that first boss called in Sonic Unleashed? Egg Beetle or something? Egg Dragoon. Egg no, Dragoon. that's a final boss. Isn't it? That's a final Eggman boss. I'm talking about the first one. I it was before. Oh, that. the one that's in Africa or whatever it's called. Missouri and uh, yeah, it's basically Africa. Why do they call Africa Missouri? No, that's the name of the country. The country is called Missouri, and it's like somewhere on that continent, but they don't call it Africa. But Missouri's a state in America. No, it's spelled differently. It's M I Z U R I. I feel like I'm on a spelling T. I feel weird. like I'm on a spelling bee every time I have to spell something out loud. So I can guess myself and shit from years of fucking up at spelling bees. Can you use it in a sentence? Can you, uh. I love how it's an actual space shuttle. Yeah, I like that too. Like, it's not like some sort Eggman of... Eggman-themed one. It's, it's not some sort of cartoony Eggman robot. No, he, like, has, like, the literal, like, space, shutter, uh, space shuttle Enterprise or something. Can I say that, like, as a kid, I've never seen these rockets before. I've only seen the top part, so seeing it with all that shit stacked underneath it was, like, mind-blowing as a kid. I'm like, holy shit, that looks cool. <laughs> I don't know why it looked cool to me as a five-year-old, but it did. Or, I guess I was seven Did Eggman something. steal... The space shuttle. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be below them. Like, I mean, that's like literally like an American space shuttle. Have we ever so. talked about how Eggman is secretly the vice president? Under that other president guy? And that's where he gets all the money for his spacecraft and shit? Yeah, I could, I could believe them voting for, you know, Eggman vice president. <laughs> that's why his computer leads to, like... Uh. 
That's why the CSI mainframe leads to Cryptic Castle and the Dark Root of Shadow the Hedgehog. With that knucklehead anyway, trying to take over the it was, I saw that from some Call Me Johnny on uh, Brain Scratch Commentaries. It was, um, it was really fucking funny for some reason. This place looks deserted. Why did they bring Amy here? Well, this place was she was an important character before this game. Because of a terrible accident. And like after I this mean, game. Was she though? Well, uh, after this game, yes. But, like, okay, before this, before this game, what is her, what, what is her contribution? She was kidnapped in Sonic CD, she took care of a bird in Sonic Adventure, I'm afraid to bring this and up, she but was there for Sonic Shuffle. I'm, I'm almost, I'm genuinely afraid to bring this up after that last part, but, like, I, I don't know why they reduced the girl character to, like, this two-bit part in this game. I, well, it's. I mean, they do have I can Rouge. sort of they have understand Rouge, that. But like, yeah, they got Rouge, and, and they, I mean, they should have at least given her like a contribution, more. like you know, Eggman. Like instead of Rouge, it's like Amy who says, "Oh, uh, don't you have the Master Emerald Knuckles? You can use that." Something minuscule like that, you know, just have her contribute a little bit to the plot. Well, okay, no. To be fair, to be fair, plot-wise, she does contribute with. Oh uh, yeah, with busting Shadow, Sonic though. out of prison. But busting Sonic out of prison, but also like with Shadow, like it's it's thanks to her that that Shadow remember like remembers. Oh wait, that's right. Maria didn't want me to blow up the Earth. <laughs> she wanted me to save it. Oh no! The spoilers. So I guess. make an actual parody where like he, instead of like being like, oh shit, he's like, oh yeah, that's right. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Egg on my face. <laughs> oh man, my face. What is a red. kooky situation. Oh my, my face. Oh, <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Let me tell you. <laughs> it's almost like my whole character arc has been wrong. <laughs> oh. Well, we all make mistakes. Am I right? Be <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> like way funnier than any Sonic Adventure Two parody I've ever seen. Maria, this is what you wanted, right? No, you dumbass. Right? You wanted... Please tell me I got it right once. She's like, no, dumbass. I, I wanted keep you getting to... it wrong. Fucking predict the earth. <laughs> Shadow dies. She's like, I did it, Maria. No, I did want you to blow up the earth. Damn it, I was right the first time. I love that oh. gif of Kermit. Never second guess yourself. No, uh, I love that gif of Kermit the Frog going, yeah. No, wait, first. He says, quote, at first I was all, yay, and then I'll, but then I, no wait, I was right the first time, and then he goes, yay, again. It was really funny. Funny. Yeah, no, it's fu It's funny. Anyway, uh, I, I told it wrong, but you know, it's funny when you actually see it, but. Yeah, of course. So, uh, Halloween special, uh. Oh, right, I was going to tell you this story, because we got to talk about, I don't remember what we were talking about before this part, but. Uh, as a kid, I was always fascinated by Shadow's appearance in the Japanese... Well, let me let me back up a little bit. I had these Japanese DVDs of Sonic X. They only had the English subtitles. And, like, I, I... Shadow doesn't appear at all in the first 26 episodes, so I never saw him. Like, even... even I was persevering through the Japanese subtitles. Like, not knowing what the fuck was going on because I was too young to read that fast. And, like... I never saw him. I never saw Shadow in the show. Except in the old intro. Wait. Okay, no way. How did you have... I don't know. There were DVDs that... It was 2005 and my mom bought them on Amazon and she didn't know they were Japanese only. Oh, those, those must have been bootleg then. Uh, I, I, I have no idea. I literally have no idea what they were. But it probably was. I, 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 like Hong Kong bootlegs or something. I have no idea where they came from, but they, they existed and they bothered me because I couldn't read what they were saying. I couldn't read fast enough. Even, like, after a year of having them, I was like, there's got to be some way to fucking turn on the English voices. So, uh, I, I, I had this dream once, right, where, like, Sonic got frozen in cement, and he was like a statue, and he, like, and, he, and, he, and they were holding auditions for the new Sonic, so they found one, and then Sonic busted out of the shadow, and he was, like, shadow now. He was like dark because I, I didn't even play the game at that point. Uh, that's how long ago this was. It's like 2004 or something. Huh. 
I was intrigued by Shadow when, uh, you know, when I was a little bit younger. Because, again, I didn't have... The Dreamcast? I, I only had a, uh, only had the Genesis, really, uh, when it came for, like, anything that had Sonic on it. I only had the Genesis until, uh, the GameCube, which I, which I bought in 2007. So, uh, like, December 2007. So, yeah, there was a good chunk of time where I didn't know anything about, like, you know, Shadow or whatever, but I could see him on, like, the, uh, cover of Adventure 2 and in some commercials and whatnot. So, I'm like, okay, I don't know who the Shadow guy is, but he's, like, an evil Sonic. That's amazing. Like, I came up with this entire storyline in my head about, like, Robotnik cloning uh, Sonic, and it went wrong, it was Shadow, and... Like, I had this, like, amazing story. And then, like, I actually played the game, and it's like, oh, yeah, no, he was created, and there's nothing to do with Sonic. He just kind of is another hedgehog. I'm like, oh, that's, like, lamer. <laughs> you, you fucking bastard. That's, like, I think I cooler. came up with a better story. No, you story. didn't. That's, like, cliche yeah. writing number fucking 3,000. I was 10, okay? I was, like, I was, like, I was 8 when the game, when, the, when Sonic went to 2 came out. So I was like, yeah, eight, nine, ten, or whatever. So to me, it was like, dude, clones are like the coolest thing. Okay, I'll, I'll give you, I'll cut you some slack there, because like, I also had cringy fan fiction when I was young. I mean, to be fair, I still love clones, but <laughs> I think there was a brief period in my time where, like, for some fucking yeah, reason, I had a headcanon about. I, I genuinely don't remember, but I think I had a headcanon where Sonic can. No, no, no. Shadow and Amy were dating, like, in my head canon, because was, uh, I was, like, seven or something. And there, there's, like, serious ships about that now, but I, I I genuinely can't remember what I was... If I actually shipped them for, like, one second when I was a seven-year-old, or if I actually, like... There's so much shit that I used to head canon and everything, and it was just... Uh... You've gone silent. Is something wrong? Did I see something completely fucked up? Oh, no, 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 nothing. I was just looking at Tasha. Okay, Sorry. I... She jumped on me again. I know you ships on Amy, but I hope you weren't, like, completely offended by the notion that Amy would what? date no, someone no, no. else. I don't even, like... Okay, no, let me make this clear, okay? Like, I like San Amy. Like, I think that's cool, but, like, I'm not, like... I, w I wouldn't go out and be like, oh, that's what I ship. No, that, that's that about, has that's, some connotations. That is. No, that's uh, that's kind of how I am. I, I like some of the fan art. I don't like go out of my way to like make more of it. Now, Vector and Knuckles on the other hand. Oh my god. Vector's forever. So is that like a joke ship of you, or do you actually like ship that unironically? Yes, it's it's mostly a joke ship, but I mean. Basically, it was like, I wanted to come up with, like, the worst possible ship name, and Vecco sounds like a venereal disease, so I'm like... It does sound like a venereal <laughs> disease. It's like, yeah, that sounds like, like, a, like, a, like a venereal disease, so I'm going with Vecco's, Vector and Knuckles. He's... I mean, it, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, also. Like, it's just, it's like, a, the just as a joke ship, it was like, the most random ship, like, nobody was actually shipping it. And it sounds like a disgusting disease, so I yeah, say like, that, that's perfect. I want to say though that I don't know why, but for some reason I feel like the people who name like STDs are in agreement to make it sound as disgusting as possible, like uh, gonorrhea well, I mean, and you, fucking chlamydia. You're not gonna call it like Happy Sunshine. Well, I know that, but like, there's I not mean. a single STD that I can think of where they, the name doesn't immediately make me go, "Oh yeah, that's an STD," because I was like. Hear about chlamydia for the first time, it'd be like, oh, that sounds like some sort of STD. Like, like the first time I heard gonorrhea, I'm like, oh, that sounds like a disgusting sex disease. I caught rainbow unicorn princess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, it's over. This was a fucked up Halloween special. Talking about penis Indeed. Diseases. Happy Halloween, everyone. Penis diseases. Hope we scared you. Yeah, I hope you scared you. Um, we scared you with venereal diseases. All right, bye. Wear a condom. Yes, wear a condom. Wear protection. Happy Halloween. Wear a condom if you're trick-or-treating. <laughs>